Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are talking about React and Docker. So we are going to create a React project and then put it into a Docker container. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's go. So well, first thing we need to do is to create the React project. We are using npx to create this. So React Dockerized. And we need to use the flag npm use npm this flag is to use as it says npm and not yarn because yarn is the default for this npx react then we need to open a code editor in this case is vs code okay i'm going to delete all the stuff that we don't need so bye bye once we erase it, we need to create a folder, components folder, and then an assets folder for all the images and icons and all the stuff that we need. Then we need to create an index.js. This index will have the function render for all the project, and we need to create a component, app.js. We need a CSS for this app.js. So then we need to start our project or React project importing the React module from React. And then the React DOM. This is the React and it has all the functions that we need. And then we need the React DOM. React DOM has the render method. call the render method and here we need to call get by id and we need to pass the root id so as you can see we are asking the, to the document the element I, uh, root and we can see the element right here And we can change the title right here. So that's all for this method. We need to pass a HTML or a component. In this case, we need to create the React component. Oops. Import the CSS. And let's create a functional component. we need to return HTML let's create a hello and that's all we need to export this function to get access in, in index.js so now we need to import this this component um, um, Objects. and we need to call this component right here then we need to start the project let's erase this and right there we have the hello okay let's change this we need the classes to, to set the styles. We need two images. The first one will have a source and a alt text if the source is not available. And a header. I love React and Docker. Okay, the source we need to bring two images. First image, Docker image, and the next one is a React image. So let's import them in the component. We have a return 
for the functional class and let's import this React from assets React okay then we need to import the docker image so This is the way to pass JavaScript into the source. So that's all. Let's put the same name, the alt, alternative text, and the class name will have the same name. Okay, let's create the classes. So title, class name title. Okay, we need to set a position for each element. In this case, container will be relative and the other ones absolute. Okay, we need to set a height and a width. Oops. The title width I hope this size will fit okay and we need to calculate to make the text being in the middle of the container okay takes a line center to center in the container of the title yeah. Font size. Okay. That's all for the title. Let's change the size. Okay. Set a top thirty five frame. Okay. Let's make smaller this one. Okay. Oops. Oh, not too big. Okay, now it is in the center. Yeah. It's too big. Okay. We need to increase the size of this container. That's all. Need to set that top. Okay. Perfect. So that is our component. And yeah, this is a functional component. And I calling right here the imports of the two images and the export of the component. Once we have our component, we need to create our Docker file. Okay, step one, oops, build of the React project. From, we need the node 12, Alpine. If you don't know what is Alpine, it's a little distro to, to make images lighter. For there, we need an app, okay? We need to copy the, J, the package JSON file <laughs> to the work there, okay? It will copy it, the, all the package to that there. We need to run a command npm install to install all the dependencies that we need for the project. And then we need to copy the whole node modules into the work there. Then we need to run another command npm run build. So this command is to create the build of the project. Let's run right right now 
as you can see, it will create a folder with all the information to run the, the project. Then we need a step two. This step will be to create the engine server from engines alpine to the search the latest one okay alpine as prod stage okay copy from we need the stage build we need to copy the stage build into this new stage okay so we need the information that the npm run build created and then paste it in this engine server folder that is an html folder and then we need to expose the port in this case is 80 and let's run the engine command for those who doesn't know what is engines is a little server to to work with with uh, docker these are the commands to run that and that's all for the docker file so once we have finished the docker file we need to create the docker image so for this let's docker build dash p for the tag and let's tag this one react docker so this minus t is for the tag and this is the tag. The dot is for all the information. Okay, it has finished. Now we need to run it. Let's check that is no one. Here are our images. Node is from this one and engines is for the second stage. Okay, let's run it. The minus it is to get all the info in the command line. Minus p is for the port. We are exposing the port in the 8000. And a name, we need a name for this run, react.rise and the tag of the image that is this one that's all let's run it as you can see we have the info right here and it's started let's check right here it's running here are the url and all the information from our container now let's refresh this one. Oh, it's not working. And let's call. And voila, we have our project running. Let's refresh. Right there, you have our React project running in Docker. This is the log that Docker is giving to us. Let's stop the container. Right now, it's stopped. Let's refresh, it's not working. Let's start. It's working. Yeah. So let's check with Docker PS. This one gives us all the containers that we have, the status of the containers, the ports we are using, is 80, the names of our containers, and who when it was created. Now we need to stop it. Okay, we have stopped it. Let's check. Oh, is the other common? This one we can see. It's not running. Docker PS is to check which container is running. As you can see, I started. Now it's running. Let's stop it. Okay. And it's not running right now, so it's not right there. It's right there because we have the container, but it's not running. Let's remove it. Right now, we don't have any container. Let's 
me check our images it's right there our images let's erase it voila we have erased all the images so if we refresh it doesn't work so that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and follow. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.